In this podcast, we will discuss the East-West boundaries. Comiform, Comicon, and the formation of NATO all reinforce the imaginary line that divided the East from the West. Cominform was in 1947. The Soviet Bureau of Cominform organised all communist parties in Europe. It arranged the parties under the leadership of the USSR in Moscow. It encouraged parties in Western Europe to stop their countries accepting assistance under the Marshall Plan. Comic-Con was in 1949. This was the Council for Mutual Economic Assistance. This organisation was the Soviet Union's alternative to the Marshall Plan. Comic-Con countries were not allowed to sign up to the Marshall Plan. The Comic-Con included Bulgaria, Czechoslovakia, Poland, Romania, Hungary, Albania and the German Democratic Republic, or East Germany. Conflicting economic organisations, for example Comic-Con versus the Marshall Plan, divided Europe into two spheres of influence. There was Western Europe, which was under the control of the USA, so capitalist, and Eastern Europe, which was under the control of the Soviet Union, so communist. NATO was in 1949. NATO stands for the North Atlantic Treaty Organization. It was set up in 1949 and was a military alliance made up of the United States, Britain, Canada, Holland, Belgium, Denmark and France. In 1955, the Federal Republic of Germany, also known as West Germany, also became a member. The NATO alliance was based around the idea of collective security. When one country is attacked, the rest must assist it. NATO acted as a buffer to a military attack by the Soviet Union on Western Europe. The founding of NATO demonstrated that the USA and Western European countries were not willing to accept Soviet aggression. As its own counteraction to NATO, the Soviet Union sought to control Eastern Europea military with the formation of the Warsaw Pact in 1955. So what were the two rival economic assistance packages to Europe after World War II? There was the Marshall Plan, and Comic-Con. So what happened in response to NATO? The Soviet Union sought to control Eastern Europe militarily with the formation of the Warsaw Pact in the year 1955. After World War II, Germany was split into the Federal Republic of Germany, West Germany, and the Democratic Republic, which was known as East Germany. Berlin was also divided into zones. At Potsdam, which was in July 1945, the Allies agreed that Germany and within within it Berlin would be divided into four zones of occupation. One would be run by each of the USA, Britain, France and the USSR. The USA wanted a united capitalist Germany. On the other hand, the Soviet Union wanted Germany to be divided under the communist sphere of influence. This would make sure that Germany could not attack the Soviet Union again. The British and US joined their zones, creating Bizonia, which became part of the Marshall Plan. Then, France then added its zone, creating Trizonia, which later became West Germany. Stalin believed that Trizonia went against the agreements made at Potsdam, There were more tensions in Berlin to do with the economy and food. West Berlin was controlled by the USA, Britain and France. It became an island in the middle of the Soviet-controlled Eastern Zone. East Germany grew almost everything eaten in West Berlin. In June 1948, a new currency was introduced in Trizonia. Lots of people in the Soviet zone of Berlin tried to get hold of the new currency. This currency was the Deutsche Mark. The Marshall Plan's money had also made West Berlin very prosperous relative to East Berlin. In June 1948, the USSR closed all transport links into West Berlin. British, French and US troops were forced to leave the city. This blocked all supplies into Berlin. 
The Western powers did not want to look weak by pulling out of Berlin, which could not survive without supplies. They also did not want to create a major incident by breaking through the roads and rail links. In June 1948 to May 1949, there was the Berlin Airlift. The Western powers responded to the blockade with an airlift. From the 26th of June 1948 to the 12th of May 1949, supplies were flown each day into Berlin. The pilots became known as the Rosine Bomber, which means raisin bombers, because of the confectionery they dropped from the sky. A new airport called Tegel was built to serve the operation. The airlift was a show of peaceful strength from the USA, making it appear generous in contrast to the Soviets. Stalin was discredited because his action had failed and the West had shown its determination to support its German zones. The divisions led to the formation of a new state in September 1949. The Federal Republic of Germany in West Germany with Bonn as its capital. West Berlin stayed under the control of the Allied powers. The, these powers are France, Britain and the USA. Just one month later, the Soviets formed the German Democratic Republic, a Soviet satellite state in the East. So let's try and remember what zones were created in Germany. So in Berlin, the Britain, Britain and the US joined their zones. They created the Bisonia. France later added its own, creating Trizonia, which later became West Germany. So Germany became a pretty divided country. It was divided into West and East Germany after the Berlin crisis. Let's have a recap of something we talked about at the beginning of the podcast. So the NATO alliance was based around the idea of collective security. So when one country is attacked, the rest must assist it. So if you're in NATO, you feel more secure. You've got support of everybody else in NATO. 